Hey, I'm Tom Fisher of bourbonblog.com and welcome to New Orleans. We're here for Tales of the Cocktails 2015. Here in front of Prince Conti Hotel, right where the Bombay Club is. Right after Katrina, I was living in New Orleans. I was actually living at this hotel doing post-Katrina relief work. Tonight, there's a special event happening. It's a spirited dinner with Brokers Gin, Lucid Amsenth, and Clear Creek Distillers. There's some great people. Andy Dawson of Brokers Gin, Ted Bro of Lucid Absinthe, and Janine of Clear Creek Distillery, yep. right? What an and only. all these brands came together for a fabulous spirit of dinner right here at Tales of the Cocktail. We're, we're all part of, uh, part of a set of premium spirits uh, under the Hood River Distillers banner. They own most of the spirits that they sell, but they also handle one or two that they don't own, and our Broker's Gin is one of that category. They are our importer for the US. Well, the Broker's Gin actually has that hat on top of every bottle, right? Correct. And, we, and the hat comes in four sizes. There's a really small one on our <laughs> miniatures, there's a sort of medium-sized one on our regular bottles. There's a bigger one on the 175 liter, and then this is size number four on my head. You've been here at Dells and Cocktail almost every year, I think, since they started, right? Every year. Every year. Yeah. Every, year. every year. What do you think of Tales? Well, it's certainly gotten bigger. Yeah. Um, there's, you know, there's a whole lot going on. It's difficult to um, coordinate your schedule with things that you want to do. It's, it's, it's a whirlwind. It is. It is. And you have to pace yourself. But yeah, I've, I've been here since the first year. And it's been absent every year, even before absent was oh, yeah. was really officially allowed here. Okay, it's so that was what year was it? Did oh, you? Oh, three, I think. Because thanks to this man, we can drink absinthe in the U.S. That's a March 5th, 2007. But before that, there was some absinthe at the tails. Oh, yeah, we have, yeah. There was yeah. Off the record, right? It. Yeah, that's right. We won't tell anybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, 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 yeah, we have. And your distillery, tell us about it. So, Quick Creek Distillery um, was founded 30 years ago this year uh, with Pear O to B. We make it from scratch, from local ingredients. We take 30 pounds of pears and turn it into a beautiful oh, spirit so of pear. Good. 30 pounds per bottle. 30 pounds? Um, yeah, we make a lot of different products. O to B, grappa. We reflect uh, what happened in Europe, you know, generation after generation using overabundant fruit. We're in Portland, Oregon, Willamette Valley. But it's really nice to come together and have a dinner. We've never been involved officially with wow. sales. It's great. You know, our spirits were traditionally served neat. Actually, like, both of your spirits, you know. No, I mean, absolutely not neat, but yours neat. There's, yeah. I mean, it was a little, you know, well, drip, drip, drip of water. But in terms of it's cocktails. Neat -o. Neat -o. It's great spirits, great people. Some of the best people in the industry right here. Right here in Bombay Club in New Orleans for Tales of the Cocktail 2015. Cheers. 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 C